How you doing YouTube? It's Kickstand. Today we're going to be talking about steel chainsaws, the uh, home and ranch style saws versus the pro saws. Uh, lots of difference folks. We're going to start off with this uh, 180C steel chainsaw here. Actually I got an old 009 here I think out too. We'll bring them all out. Hey folks. This saw is getting old here folks. 009, they don't even make this model anymore. But this saw right here is a ripper. Uh, it's uh, tuned uh, and everything. It's running on race fuel. Uh, we took out the spark arrestor. Just be careful in the woods. Spark it. So yeah, that this top handle saw is just a one hand saw, and you can get that. This thing costs like 150 brand new back in the day. You can't. They don't sell them anymore. But uh, yeah, this one one you see residential saw. It's a pile of shit. Don't fucking waste it. Waste your money. It's got this fucking self adjusting bullshit on the side. No fucking nut. And this thing is the most aggravating fucking saw you will ever fucking run. You have to take your gloves off and run this little thumber here to adjust it. There's no tool. You can't, it's toolless. So you don't use shrinks in there or nothing. It's a pile of shit. I fucking. We don't talk anybody out of buying it. So the only reason why people are buying these things is because they're cheap. It's cool you can take the side cover off, but you gotta fucking spread it through all that shit. It just it cuts decent, it really cuts good when it's going good, but what it does is piles up all the shit inside the fucking chain case. Uh, and you gotta constantly take the cover off, clean it out. Um, it's just it's just bad news folks. It does run good. Other than that, for what is it, one side, you know, it might have been 180 with an extra chain or something. And the old MS290 farm ball, this old pig wagon here. It's like carrying a bus around, folks. You almost got to have a tractor or something to carry around, or a Red Rider uh, fucking wagon to drag it around with you, because if you plan on cutting wood with this thing, your back is going to hurt. I hope you have a fucking jacuzzi after you get done cutting with this thing. 18 inch bar, folks, it's running on race fuel. Uh, I've yanked the limiter screws out of here. Uh, I saw the factory, factory specs. It, it just was right out of the gate, fucking horrid. Very, very horrid. Uh, so it does, it does run. It cuts great. I mean, for what it is, if you like fighting it, uh, bar has seen a little bit of its days, but got a little nick here for some this fucker bogged down on me. Got caught in a tree, so. You have to fucking cut her out. There's your quick access to your filter. You got a heavy shrinks tool to get to that. And you get your little adjustment tool right here. You can clip for uh, summer or winter. So we got to set up for winter. Cut some wood. Try to hock this thing off to one of the ranch hands we got out of there. And I've got, you know, let, it, let them have it for 200 bucks. Probably throw in a couple extra chains for it and stuff. So. And on to the new MS2 61C Pro Series, folks. This thing is a ripper. Uh, the difference, the difference between the backs and everything is just unreal. This thing is so fucking heavy. Two hands to carry that fucker, folks. You can see that. You can just see the difference in between them two. Uh, big difference in weight, weight to horsepower. Uh, and this saw just goes, it just rips. Uh, I see a difference in the Pro Series. That's exactly why they want so much more money for it. But uh, it's worth every penny. I can go buy the two new farm bosses for 650 bucks out the door, probably, versus you know paying that for one saw. So a lot of people just buy the cheap uh, farm boss saws. You know, nothing knock on it. You know, if you're going out and cutting, you know, a couple little limbs, you know, two, three feet long, just to keep you heated up to get you through the day. But cutting that all day is just hard on the back. This thing right here is a ripper. It will just cut and cut. With the new M-Tronics, Electronics in it, no adjustment, folks. Temperature goes up and down. You got a little bit of bad fuel. Your buddy, he bought cheap, bought the cheap 87 octane fuel, you know. And you ran out and you had to put some in there. It'll run on it. Not recommended, but it will run on it. It'll auto-tune, make adjustments for that piss poor cheap fuel that you're buying. You know, I use the Moto Mix, so it's the only way to go. So, 
Yep, I think you've seen it all, folks. So just save your money. Save your money. Don't buy an opt out for a cheaper saw. Even if you're just the guy that only cuts a couple cords of wood a year, buy the pro saw if you got the extra money. You know, times are tough out there, you know, but just buy the expensive saw, folks. So.